Let's prove why you should always use a DB context factory instead of a plain DB context for a Blazor server app. We'll use a simple but practical example to make our case. Our app will show a page containing a pair of to-do lists, the highest priority to-dos on the top and all to-dos on the bottom. I've created a .NET 8 web app specifying server for the interactive render mode. My DB context creates a trivial database with a handful of to-do items. Here's the show to-dos razor page. As you can see, it just shows these two simple lists. Here is the to-do list. It simply calls a service that I've created to get all to-do items async. And here is that service. And I'll quickly point out that it's a scoped service set here in our program.cs file. So let's go back here and take a closer look at this. This code has two blocks. One block up here will use a DB context factory and the block down here is commented out it will use just a plain DB context. Okay, let's run this code and see what happens. It's set currently uh, to run with a DB context factory. Okay, let's click on this tasks to do. And we have no problems. It's showing the high priority list <clears throat> and the entire list. And I've just got comments in here in this middle to, to tell you what bad things are going to happen when we switch this to just using a plain old DB context. Okay, now we want to run with just a plain old DB context. So I'm here in program CS and we're going to uncomment this line and comment out this line. And then we're going to go into the uh, to-do service and make sure that we have this bottom portion uncommented. Okay, in the to-do service, you can see that I've commented out the portion where we ran with the DB context factory, and I've uncommented the code so that we will now run with a plain DB context. So let me kick this off and I'll pause the video while it compiles and runs and launches the web page. Okay, there's the web page. Now we're going to click on this tasks to do and we're going to get a nasty error. Okay, <clears throat> you, can, <clears throat> you can see this error, an unhandled exception, all because we used a plain DB context instead of a DB context factory. If you're watching this on YouTube, I will be putting a link below to the GitHub page where you can actually get the source code that I used for this example. I had wondered why a lot of sources had said that you really needed to use a context factory. And this example really shows you why. Thanks. Have a good day.